Let's kill that. Okay, now. This is something that uh, I saw during Assange's press conference. He made sure to thank Chicho for the hilarious controllers. That <laughs> uh, arrives at six fifteen a.m. local time. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now this is something that uh, Stella Assange put out and WikiLeaks put out. Uh, quote: Throughout the years of Julian Assange's imprisonment and persecution. An incredible movement has been formed. People from all walks of life, from around the world, who support not just Julian, but what Julian stands for, truth and justice, Stella Assange, right? And if you click on that link, it takes us to this video message that uh, Stella Assange and WikiLeaks put out. So I'm gonna turn on my audio. Mm. Hold on, I don't want to double click it. This just makes it too pain in the rear end. Uh, I'm going to kill my audio. Actually, no, I'm not going to kill my audio. Oh, no, I'm going to kill my audio. It's Wednesday, the 19th of June, and it's exactly 12 years today since Julian went into the Embassy of Ecuador, which granted him political asylum. Protection from persecution, from torture, from a life imprisonment, of imprisonment. And 12 years on, I'm visiting Julian in a high security prison. But this, this period of our lives, I'm confident now, has come to an end. And I think that by this time next week, Julian will be free. I just came out of Belmar's prison in what I have hoped is my last visit to see Julian here in this prison where he spent five years, two months, and two weeks. And if you're seeing this, it means he is out. Things are moving very quickly, and it's very difficult for us to plan or even play out uh, the next few hours and days. Uh, but if everything goes well, Julian will be on a plane on the way to freedom. The cost to Julian, of course, has been to be deprived of freedom for all these years. In the battle for journalistic freedom, freedom to publish, foundation of democracy. Throughout the years of Julian's imprisonment and persecution, an incredible movement has been formed. A movement of people from all walks of life, from around the world, who support not just Julian and not just us and our family, but what Julian stands for, truth and justice. We still need your help. What starts now with Julian's freedom is a new chapter. I can say in earnest that without your support, this would have never, never materialized this important day of joy, the day of Julian's freedom. So thank you so much. This new chapter in Julian and our lives, uh, we ask for your support as well. Uh, in the coming hours, we intend to start a, an emergency fund for Julian's health and recovery. I ask if you can, please contribute and help us into this new phase uh, of Julian's freedom. So that was, that was awesome to see. Uh, they knew they were working in the background for it. Uh, so fantastic, fantastic. Uh, Captain Ranger uh, just came back from work. It's great to share this moment with you, Chicho, especially knowing that you made uh, such dedicated work to share his situation. Or well, for sure, the, the, it's the least we could do. Uh, it's the least that I could do. I, I wish I could have done more, but it was what it was, right? And uh, the battle continues. The battle continues, right? Uh, great day for sure. Great day for sure. Right now, they put out this video, and then uh, here's the statement from uh, WikiLeaks that they put out last night. Okay, I'm just going to read it, uh, Speedy Gonzalez style. Uh, Julian Assange is free. Julian, Julian Assange is free. He left Bel uh, Belmarsh Maximum Security Prison on the morning of June 
24th, after having spent 1,901 days there. He was granted bail by the High Court in London and was released at Stan, uh, Stansted Airport during, this, uh, during the afternoon, where he boarded a plane and departed the UK. This is the result of a global campaign that spanned grassroots organizers, press freedom campaigners, legislators, and leaders from across the political spectrum, all the way to the United Nations. This created the space for a long period of negotiation with the U.S. Department of Justice, leading to a deal that has not yet been formally finalized. We will provide more information as soon as possible. After more than five years in a two by three meter cell isolated 23 hours a day he will soon reunite with his fat wife stella assange and their children who have only known their father from behind bars wikileaks published groundbreaking stories of government corruption and human rights human rights abuses holding the powerful accountable for their actions as editor-in-chief julian paid severely for these principles and for the people's right to know. As he returns to Australia, we thank all who stood by, fought for us, and remained utterly committed in the fight for his freedom. Julian's freedom is our freedom, right? More details to follow, and since that time, we've had a fair bit of details. And just to, I'm just gonna take you guys to here. Um, now julian we have a julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube where we've archived a lot of the videos that we put out uh on julian assange and wikileaks even comic book reading of julian's uh ordeal right that someone put out in uh, spain i believe they put it out and uh, they sent us a copy or i did i buy it or sent, sent i think uh, they told me about it i ended up buying like five, I, don't, I forget I, I, anyway we got this comic book here where we did the reading of it was fantastic um but one of the main reasons that they went after julian assange is this video here which is oops this is <laughs> this is seven years ago okay this is a video I put out in 2017. I've been following uh, WikiLeaks since 2010, like since day one, really, when they hit the scene, releasing information and uh, collateral murder video and whatnot. But the main reason, in my humble opinion, and in many other people's opinion, that they went after Julian Assange wasn't because of the collateral murder video or um, the Hillary Clinton emails and all that jazz it was because of vault vault seven year zero cia hacking tools were revealed right and this was so important that i decided to include it in part of my repertoire for asmr content that i was creating and i did a whisper or soft spoken reading of the vault seven year zero cia hacking tools were revealed and we put this out in 2017 and I have all the links to the WikiLeaks uh, information here, um, okay, that you can read those leaks directly yourself, okay. Now, aside from that, there was two other uh, releases that we ended up doing soft-spoken readings for. One of them was this one, which was the introduction to the Guantanamo Bay files, extremely important. And the other one was... Uh, uh, sort of a soft-spoken reading of the OPCW DOMA docs, uh, part one of four, and then part two, part three, part four. We kept on doing it, right? And, you know, we've gone through and watched some of the uh, panel discussion that Julian Assange had with uh, multiple people. Uh, extremely important events, extremely important events. Okay. Now, from that video that they released, um, Stella Assange and the WikiLeaks people releasing it. This is the information from Consortium News. And after we load up this live stream uh, on the platform, I'll provide all these links in the description of this video, right? Uh, this is uh, Canadian Independent is someone, uh, people that I follow on Substack because they talk a lot about uh, important events that are taking place. Uh, highly recommend them as a Substack uh, uh, sort of source but what they did they put out a little statement regarding um, 
June Assange being freed, and they linked up the plea deal that Julian Assange uh, sort of agreed to, right? And this is the plea deal right here. The United States court district for the, the like, the gang, the veil has been lifted and anybody that still thinks there's any kind of justice in the Western world, you got your head up Trump's ass, okay? Forget about Biden's. You, you got your heads up Trump's ass. Biden's, <laughs> you don't want to have your head up that ass. That's nasty. Uh, Trump's is nasty, but Biden's even nastier, right? So initially, I, w I thought about reading this, but I have no desire to read this bullshit, right? I have no desire to read this bullshit because this is not what's important. What's important is how Western governments crucified Julian Assange how corporate media um western corporate media uh gaslit julian assange made him out to be the villain in this whole affair right as malcolm x has said if you're not care careful the liberal media will make you love the oppressors and hate the oppressed and that's exactly what corporate especially liberal media did in the western world and as far as i'm concerned they can all go fuck themselves right now from there one of the things that's been going on is people have been talking about here let me bring up my my video here now one of the things people have been talking about a lot uh, especially uh, Stella Assange, WikiLeaks people, um, people that I follow that have been supporting Julian Assange from day one, and they've been hardcore at it, right? The one thing that everyone's been saying, right? Everyone's been saying is uh, that I'm gonna hide the rumble chat. Everyone's been saying is that they appreciate the support that he got from people uh, that that knew what was going on that uh, went through hell uh, stood up against the wave of that it really came into play in 2016 with all the liberal media the leftoids and stuff they started associating what wikileaks and julian assange was doing to trump for some reason because again as malcolm has said the liberal media made the person that was being persecuted prosecuted crucified made him out to be the villain and the people doing the persecution to be the good guys on effing believable right but what's been happening is uh, people have been coming out and saying uh, you know this wouldn't have happened without the support of content creators let's say or people who spoke out spoke out against what was going on to julian assange now i've been following assange's work uh, wikileaks work for a long time we shared a lot of info and again we just did our little two bit amount of work right alugas says 30 minutes away from landing then two hour 44 minute wait till appearance in court okay amazing time to be streaming right now i took that uh notice that stella assange julian assange's family uh father brother wife his colleagues were saying that all i i don't personally believe it like because i don't for me i feel like i didn't do enough right but i took their words and instantly whenever i think of julian assange this is the person that i think about okay this is the person that i think about eric levy okay this is a uk citizen uh, I believe it was a UK citizen that was, as far as I know, at every Julian Assange court appearance that appeared. He was 90 plus years old, 
right? Uh, rest in peace, right? And I had forgotten his name. I just, it, for me, I'm bad with names, as you know, right? But his image, right? Like inspiration. Okay. Now I've forgotten his name and I messaged Elder God this morning and I said, Hey, Elder God, what was, what's that guy's name? I can't. Because if you do a search for Julian Assange, and I did Julian Assange, old man supporting him, passed away. He passed away in 2020, uh, 22 under circumstances that I don't want to talk about right now. Okay. It's related to the lockdowns and the mandates and all that jazz that went through. And as far as I'm concerned, he was murdered right on effing believable right that's a different story right uh that's a different story and as far as i'm concerned um deserves some uh rethinking of our uh justice system and what capital punishment uh where capital punishment should be applied <laughs> right um but he was there and I remember him doing a court hearing. He would hold up the signs like a bloody 90 plus year old, right? Fighting for truth and justice. Okay. So, and, and as soon as I was trying to figure out his name so I could make sure we could pay tribute to this man, right? Right. Uh, because of what Assange's family has said, right? I hit up Misty commander misty and man she's a true warrior if you don't know who misty is you better follow her work i'm going to go back to uh sharing my screen and um uh, uh, let me turn off i'm going to turn off my uh, actually no i'm not going to turn off my audio yet because we're not going to do i'm just gonna da, 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 we're gonna do this weird i gotta do it that way so check oops don't do that let's do this bring this over now i hit up misty uh can i go to my messages <laughs> if i can go to messages uh no no i don't want to go to my messages so do, because it might be something private there right but i hit up misty i said misty uh i know you know the person's name who was that old man that was uh supporting julian assange uh from the get-go he was at the court courthouse and she had made a post already right like uh june 24th uh thinking of this guy tonight right eric would be pleased so from there i went down down the rabbit hole right so here's now i'm gonna stop sharing actually no i'm not gonna stop sharing my i uh, Okay, I, want, I don't want the echo to be there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this on, and we're gonna do this. My audio's off. Let me know if there's a double sound here, okay? Oops, is that too loud? He's 92 years old. This is the police arresting him. He's 92 years old. 92. This is disgraceful. Disgraceful! He's 92 years old! 92! This is disgraceful! Disgraceful! Here's a picture of him. Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on, let me read this first. Um, this is Stella Song saying this, linking up to the same same video. 93-year-old Eric Levy is in hospital as his health is in decline. His dedication to fighting for Julian's liberty has been an inspiration to many. Please send him your warm thoughts in reply to this post so that the messages can be read to him in hospital hospice. Now, the UK authorities prevented people from visiting him in hospital uh you can go down that rabbit hole your blood will boil mine does every time i think about it okay this is uh your weekly and it had uh, you know it did a little write-up because um he passed in 2022 in july okay um and you know they had a little write-up and shared 
you know the tweets and the videos and this is an image of him when he was being arrested uh richard medhurst posted this right like fuck man right right unbelievable why like for those that want um to move on from what took place in uh in uh he was half egyptian very cool oh god very cool uh, and you see what he's wearing right there right uh for those that want to move on from what took place what governments around the world in the western world uh, did uh, to humanity uh, please appreciate that there is no forgiveness for what they did uh there is there should be no amnesty for what they did okay so amazing amazing eric is very cool so richard methurst continues eric is very cool i met him in 2020 he participated regularly at pro assange protest in piccadilly circus um here he is refusing to <laughs> budge as the police we got to watch this police wa oh, remove him so let's let's watch this video again hold on oh no it's not a video here is going no oh it is a video hold on we're gonna we're gonna turn on this let me turn dragging away makes me sick yeah yeah right absolutely absolutely right let's repost this thanks richard right now here's another one right we are all assange and this is where i grab that pic that we're sharing okay amazing so it's a nice write-up, uh, good tribute to a true warrior, uh, right? True warrior. Uh, and then you know he passed. Okay. Rest in peace. Rest in power, Eric Levy, staunch advocate for Julian Assange, who sadly passed away today age 93 people my age don't have the cojones to do what he did right evening see that i hope you're doing well elder god posted a little info on this uh, elder god uh eric levy died on july 20th age 94 the rcg had known him for the entire duration of our uh organization's existence we salute Eric's contribution to the struggle. Born in Manchester in 1928, Eric lived in Egypt as a child and was politically active in North America before settling in London. He worked as a teacher in London schools and was a keen uh, walker, cyclist, swimmer, and film buff. In the early 1960s, Eric shared a flat with the Caribbean revolutionary uh, communist Claudio Jones, right? can't believe they let him free see that says never thought it would happen didn't think so either All right so this is the pic that i grabbed and here is a 24 minute interview with him now this thing only has 162 v views like if you look at this thing 162 views i don't know if this is a repost or not um 
Uh, and it's from someone lessons for life and this was posted in 2019 right so what i'd like to do is watch this video with you guys okay if you guys are up for it what say you should we watch this video information was for a commie site only thing i could find yeah holy moly finished dude indeed holy moly right holy moly indeed um uh, brando on sensor tube hey chicho tulsi posted on her instagram that assange was let go yay yay uh and tulsi well i lost interest in tulsi when she uh, endorsed biden <laughs> lee graham on sensor tube uh someone said to me uh, today that assange is an actor no don't be surprised if he's involved to the white house and the government. no <laughs> hilarious that person was a red rat <laughs> heck yeah see that okay what did assange have to agree to in order to be let go he, he had to agree to uh mishandling i believe classified information something like this right brando chicho i totally thought of you all day awesome brando awesome honor honor brando also will you still read your julian assange disclaimer uh i did once but we we up, updated it i am so used to it we will we will uh if it pops up again which it will it's still on a timer but today is the last day that we'll have that disclaimer on and it just popped up and it just popped up guess what guess what gang old school style free assange free assange free assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately, desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, candlesforassange.com, Stella Assange's Substack page, or countless resources available on free speech platforms. Rice. Keanu Weaver mishandling so that means he won't be managing wikileaks anymore we don't know we don't know we don't know uh elegot please visit history debunked video on sensor tube and give him your opinion on his red red rat video about julian that's the one you linked up this uh this morning elegot crazy that was insane assange uh real xenomorph assange to arrive uh to north mariana islands in 15 minutes let's have a little pie should we have a little pie before we watch this video gang should we watch this video this interview with this true warrior inspiration to me right brando you hope i meet massage i hope so too i'll smoke a big fat story with him Barface, good day for freedom of speech. Chicho, can you make uh, Scarlett Johnson Day's bar post as well while we're at it? <laughs> Hilarious. That would be cool. That would be cool. Gang, let's listen to a true warrior. I love stack that with you, Jordan. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Gang, I'm going to kill my audio. We're going to watch this for 24 minutes. Okay. It's sort of a, it's a, I haven't watched the whole thing. It's an interview with them and does little clips. Okay. All right. It would be great if Sanj got, an, got on X and possibly teamed up with OK. Nice i don't know what that was subscribe uh they've subscribed for 34 months beer bread slinger 91 salute thank you for the sub oh god i wonder if a new service will be covering the landing maybe i think man I've, I've mentioned this before if you know of a journalist that covers politics economics geopolitics and they haven't written a piece minimum one piece 
we should say at least one piece a year for the last 12 years in support of Julian Assange, they're fucking hacks. Okay. Finish with Jesus. That guy needs uh, compensation for that prison time, in my humble opinion. Indeed. Indeed. I personally want uh, retribution. That's what I would want. Right? John's like, this has got to be the best thing that happened this year. Hopefully, there are more good things that are coming. Right? Availability. I don't think it's unreasonable to say it's possible Assange could be a plant in some way. No availability. I don't think so. You're pretty naive if you think it's not possible. Abraham Lincoln fought for freedom against the South, and uh, the founding fathers' roots go back to Freemasonry. Well, I, I, I don't consider Abraham Lincoln to be a freedom fighter. <laughs> right? So I don't put Assange in the same category as Abraham Lincoln. Uh, Assange is superior. Much superior. Right? Chas Smith Chicho would uh, like your input on my question above, please. Feel free to wait till... What was your question? Um, end of the stream. Chat, 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 chat. Uh, Chad, you gotta post it again. Otherwise, I have to go. I don't see your control. Oh, there it is. Wait, oh, what is? It? No, I don't see it. Okay. Okay, gang. Um, what am I doing? Hold on. There's one thing I need to do. We just had a. I'm just gonna delete a message on. Uh, hmm. How do we delete a message on Rumble? Mm. Oh well, laugh it. I'm not sure how to delete a message on Rumble. Promoting a hack. Okay, gang. Ready? Should we do? Should we do? Let's do. I'm going to turn off my audio. Okay. And uh, I'm going to put this on. Uh, John's like, if Julian Assange is free, anything is possible. I was really starting to lose hope then he got released. Yeah, John's like, comparing Assange to Lincoln means they don't fully understand how important it was he got released. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Okay, gang. My audio is going to go. We're going to listen to this. They didn't like us as human seals, but they chased us out rather than kill us. Outside Belmarsh Prison, I'm with Eric Levy. Yeah. It's lovely to see you again. Thank Last you very time much, we yeah. spoke, it was, it was outside the hotel where the arms dealers were yeah, right. trading their arms. Yeah. Today we're outside Belmarsh Prison yeah. where Julian Assange is yeah. incarcerated uh -huh. inside. Right. You spoke very passionately uh, earlier on. Yeah. Um, what are your feelings about what's going to happen in the coming weeks for Julian Assange? You've got an important date coming up on Thursday, right? Uh, Thursday, is that the, uh, the court appearance? Yeah, that, yeah the court so, appearance, yeah. yeah, of course. Okay, well, there's a lot to say about that. Uh, the first time Julian Assange appeared in the court in West Westminster, that's when the police got him out of the um, Ecuadorian embassy and the judge, uh, the magistrate, I hope we don't have the same magistrate, but anyway, it's the same court, Westminster, the magistrate is called Snow. I want to denounce this person, I mean, you know, face him, men mention him personally, publicly, and perhaps uh, there's a law against that and they'll be jailed. Snow. He has a nerve to say the opposite of the truth. He called, you can, you can see it in all the papers, he called him narcissistic. A narcissist is a person who is in love with his own appearance. It's just the opposite, you know, because the Julian is thinking of the whole of humanity. Then he went further and he said he's only thinking of himself, but saying say the same thing, but uh, not in appearance, but uh, politically, you know, or in his own interests. And it's just the opposite. So, you know, how far can you get from the truth? I mean, you go entirely the other extreme. Now, one thing that's very important to say is that how the British people are being misled. Because, of course, we all believe in democracy. What does democracy mean? The will of the majority, okay? But if the majority are uninformed, and I think 
Einstein once said this, you know, a great believer in democracy. He said, it's no good for a herd of cattle, so it's good for people. He said, you've got to think, you've got to be informed, you've got to know the truth. I mean, don't forget there was democracy in Nazi Germany. The overwhelming majority of the people supported Hitler. Well, because of the lies told by his minister of propaganda, Dr. De Goebbels. So, we have the same thing here, not just one Dr. Goebbels, but all the media. I think it was and Goebbels I think it's said, accuse your enemy of what you're going to do. Uh, yeah. That was a Nazi technique. Anyway. Yeah, that, that's what they do. Yeah. You see, so you see the um, uh, when they uh, say to um, uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, sorry, I've been Yeah, no, it's okay. It's you. because I'm, I'm thinking one yeah. thing. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, so we need to be... Now, the thing is, the lies of... We know the lies that have been told. Yeah. So, in uh, the lie that's been told to the majority of the British people, of course, the media, yeah. but one of the main ways of getting people to believe something is to do what the Metro and st Evening Standard do when they're outside police um, um, tube stations handing out the free publications. Well, of course, the free publication is better than no publication, and the ones you pay for are no better, and certainly including the Guardian, you know, supposedly intellectuals. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's always historically on the left, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so it's very really dangerous to have that, you okay. see. But, you know, they lie. So the lie they told, well, sometimes they'll tell some truth, but then the truth itself can be a liar unless it's, unless it's complete. So let me explain that. Uh, they, they said Julian was taken out of the embassy of Ecuador and uh, then arrested or something. The, the Ecuadorian embassy agreed to this. The lie, there's a lie of omission here because they haven't told the whole truth. The whole truth is that for six years Julian was welcomed as an asylum seeker in the embassy, but then there was regime change and they got rid of the great Rafael Correa, who is now in jail, and uh, got a, a new president, who is Moreno, who is the puppet of the United States. So of course, the embassy then, because uh, that's supposed to represent what the, the government of Ecuador is saying, uh, uh, whatever, at uh, one time or another. So when it's changed, so that it's no longer the Ecuadorian people, uh, the people who believe in freedom, but those who believe in uh, supporting what U.S. and British imperialism are doing, then of course these people, it's like uh, in Germany, you know, you had the voice of Germany, the Weimar Republic, and then you got the voice of Hitler in 1933. Well, of course, it would be the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, the lie that's not told, that uh, this, uh, this lie of omission, that uh, there has been, it's a different Ecuadorian, you know, the Ecuadorian traitors who are saying arrest him, because why was he kept there for six years and uh, well treated, you know, decently and all that. Pamela Anderson came to visit him, you know, the actress and all that. Again, they're using this to say, oh, she's, she's a beautiful woman, so she went there. I mean, they use this argument, so many people, you know, that uh, uh, a great freedom fighter in the United States was supported by Angela Davis, so it's because there was a love affair or something. I mean, you know, this is these lies, I mean, you see? So we've got to combat, as I said, the lies of omission, but also what's not being told, the truth that is not being told. And I think this is important. So thank you for the opportunity to set yeah. this straight. Thank you for I'm one to person, me. but I think everyone, you know, you can verify this. And uh, it, it's got to be said by everybody. Okay. I, want, I want to ask you one more thing before of I course, let you go. Please, please do, um, yeah. In the last few weeks, Extinction Rebellion brought London to a standstill. Right, right. Do, do you think people that care about the continuation of human, of the human race should be here caring about Exa human rights and freedom of speech? Precisely. We, we should work together. Exactly. Thank uh, you so much. You hit the nail on the head. That's what I was going to say, second point. <laughs> Don't okay. talk too yeah, long. Yeah, no, no. You know? that, uh, yeah, yeah exactly. I've, I've said this about the, not being told the whole truth. So silence is the same as consent. What you're not told, you know, uh, of course, means that uh, you, you, uh, your, your voice, the, the democracy, the voice of the people, will.
will be uh, against our interests because they're not told the truth. Of course, they believe the, truth, you know, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Yeah, exactly. That's nothing, really exactly. They, they do this in court. Yeah. It's for them, but not for yeah. us. I mean, you know, I'm often thought if a person says to me, "Do that in court," I'll say no, not answer yes, because you won't let me tell the whole truth. So you'll stop me, and I've, I've known this many times, and having been in court a few times, you know. So uh, what you were saying about the yeah the climate change people. This is a great source of untapped protest people. There are hundreds of thousands, aren't they there? We should get them because of course we need quality, but we also need quality because we need the masses of people, you see? So we should get them. They, they, exactly, they mentioned extinction. Ex, uh, what is it? The, uh, extinction Rebellion. Extinction Rebellion. These people too should be contacted because I went there not on Friday, because on Friday we were supporting our sons last Friday, but I went on Saturday because there's nothing else, and I met them for the first time. And I showed them my bag yep. on which I have. Uh, are you t you sh you're showing a picture, are you? A pic well, if I have it now here. Uh, anyway, it's a picture of Assange that I had on this bag. But it's torn bag. because I've had it such a long time. Yeah. So I, 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 people saw that on my bag here, and they were all approving of Assange. So that means that, of course, they're talking about climate change and ecology, which is important, but then Assange is talking about human lives and the lies that have been told, and because of those lies, half a million Iraqi children, this is the official figure, were killed by the sanctions alone. And then, of course, uh, uh, you know, the total I, I figured uh, was at least two million Iraqis. Now, Iraq has a population of 20 million. So two million means literal, there's a good word in English for this, decimation, the killing of one in 10. Yeah. So they could one in 10 of Iraqis, that's 2003. But sanctions killed more people even the occupation. How many they killed in Libya? And of course, with the regime change, how many are dying now, you know? I mean, with Saddam, with Gaddafi, you got some progress. Say what a lot, what you say, and I think it's not true about these people. I was in Iraq, and that there was a human shield, several of us, 150 of us who stayed there. What year did and you, we, we, we did see the great progress yeah. that was being made. That we saw the health care, we saw the schools, and all that, okay, so we can say they should have done more, but you know, Nowhere's perfect, everyone but should it's do much more. worse yeah. off when a million people Yeah, I mean, it's not that, yeah. you know, they did what they could. I mean, they came from feudalism, you know, give them a chance. And of course, I say this in Palestine, thank you very much for mentioning yeah, well, being of Jewish heritage. I appreciate but, well, you wearing the Palestinian scarf. And but I'm not religious, yeah. Uh, but uh, the thing is, of course, it's someone is isn't against Jews, on the contrary, we support Jews. But all the Palestinians are similar. So you say anti-Semitic, whereas the Jews are not necessarily Semitic, because some of them would be, and uh, others, of course, are converts. I mean, was Sammy Davis Jr., <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Semitic? I mean, uh, you know, you can it, adopt it, it, a religion. It's, all, um, it's a religion. It's not a nationality. We, we can get bogged down in semantics. I've got no doubt there are anti-Semites who hate Jews because they are Jews. But yeah, we, we yeah, mustn't conflate yeah, that yeah. with legitimate criticism exactly. of Israel, as with much. any uh, yeah, country. It's great. I, I'm proud to see you wearing your Palestinian scarf. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, no, it's great to uh, hear what you're saying. Sure exactly. We don't, didn't we hate this. the German people because they were against Hitler? Did Einstein hate the German people? On the contrary, I mean, uh, <laughs> had to, he couldn't Einstein stay in the offered, country. Einstein offered yeah. the honorary presidency of Israel. Yeah, exactly. He, he refused it, exactly. Yeah. He did say at the beginning, as, as the whole world said, Jews have suffered a lot, okay, leave the country. But he didn't say that going to Palestine, they should then drive out the Palestinians. And I think that's probably one reason he refused the, the presidency, he didn't want it. It doesn't see. take an Einstein to so work it out. It's good. But he's also, I think of Einstein, he's written also a book, I don't know how many of you knew this, it's called Why Socialism? Okay. So he believed in socialism too. And he had a hard time in the United States too, you see? He's a great scientist, but uh, you know, you had to be careful because he's well famous. But uh, but we know about what happened to so many progressive people. I mentioned the other day Paul Robeson. Most, so many people don't know about this great human being who died in 1976. You know, but mostly he retired after 1962. But there's Angela Davis in our time today. You know? And again, you know, 
how have these people being treated? So they're being silenced. You know, and I said the voice of the voiceless, which is, of course, uh, that sounds today, but the term was first applied to a person still in jail in the United States in Philadelphia, Munir Abu Jamal, you see. He, is, uh, he was on death row. He was writing from death row. He wrote a, a book, Live from Death Row, which is wonderful. He gave all kinds of messages, kept up with the news as much as he could being there. Now I understand he's off death row, which is a relief, but he's still kept in prison. Now he shouldn't be freed, you see. And he was a former Black Panther, and telling the truth. You read his articles and read what a person like Chomsky is very well informed and all that is written. You know, it definitely compares with what Trump has written, perhaps even better in some respects, but anyway, it's very important. So, you see, we denied the contribution of the greatest human beings, the people who are speaking the truth courageously. I mean, I mentioned Paul Robson, yes, because good old record shop, you get his, his record, and you've never heard a, a, a beautiful a voice in the world. I defy anyone to say this. I mean, I know quite a lot about music. I mean, not all the opera singers to talk about Who's got the most beautiful voices? I mean, of course, tastes vary, but really, this is unique, you know? And of course, because he's a person who believed in the freedom of all people, African-Americans, he's the son of a slave, but he also believed in the freedom of the Maori of New Zealand, of the Australian Aborigines, and it's important to mention, uh, of course, uh, Assange in this respect, because there was a national anthem. I don't know the name of it now in Australia, but I understand a lot of people wanted Walt Sig Matilda's national anthem. This is a story similar to that of Ned Kelly in uh, Australia, where he, of course, is stopped, you know, from catching a sheep, you know. But the important thing is that they come over to jail him and he evades them, springs into what they call the billabong, you know, yeah, yeah. The water. And of course he says, you never catch me alive, says he, uh -huh. you know, thumbing his nose at them, you see. So this kind of defiance is important, yeah. you know. Wow. So look, uh, we'll we can, we can talk all day. And it's wonderful to have a person. Yeah. It's not really an interview, it's a partnership. Yeah, it's yeah, just it's a, a, it's a, it's a, you know what he, he's going to say. So you know what I I'm saying? It. But I mean, we're also really speaking, I think, for the majority of people. I mean, it's I know it's always funny when you meet someone at yes. one event that you met at another event on two yeah. separate issues that have something in common, which yes. is human rights, exactly. basically. Exactly, because I verify everything that's being said. I mean, it's not uh, because I'm saying it, it's, it's common knowledge. But, you know, we don't want common knowledge. We, we want the knowledge of the so-called experts, so-called knowledge, and that it turns out to be a fallacy, you know? So, so uh, this is, I think, uh, the reason, as I said, democracy is great. But if you believe lies, then of course you're going to vote for a Hitler. And if you believe the truth, uh, but that's what they don't want us to do. We can see today, it's, it's good to have this uh, where we are now, but we're entirely isolated. There's yeah. nobody around who's yeah. hearing us. But I mean, we, we walked close to the Belmarsh jail, yeah. and uh, two people came out and told us we couldn't be there and we had to leave. So. You know, freedom of speech in the desert. <laughs> Where does that get you? Exactly. You know, you need an audience. You know, people well, hopefully listening. A few people will watch this. Uh, yeah, share, uh, share but, it around the but world. But not because of me. I say, you know, there's a wonderful uh, poem by um, I mean, because I mentioned Paul Robeson, great singer. But he, he ends his book. And if you get one book on him, Here I Stand, which is a sort of, not really an autobiography, but just explains his politics. But he ends it with a, pop, uh, a poem by Pablo Neruda, a Nobel Prize Prize uh, winner, uh, you know, where he, uh, it's a poem he's dedicated to Abraham Lincoln. Okay. And he says, uh, let no one think of me, let us think of the entire earth and pound the table with love. And then he goes on to say, I don't want um, blood again to saturate beans and gravy and music. I wish I could take them with me. The little girl, the miner, the doll maker, the lawyer, the secretary, going into a movie and coming out drink the reddest wine. And then he says, um, I've come here to sing and for you to sing with me. 
and they say, listen, Paul, but listen to uh, the people who are speaking the truth, you know, you know say, and uh, we should have a chance to do that. So there's so much more to say, but, uh, you know, it needs to be said. After all, these people who make political speeches speak a lot longer than we've been speaking now, you know, and uh, what do they say that, that doesn't really help us, you know? You know, the words, but uh, suit the word, suit the, uh, the, uh, the word to the, the action to the word. <laughs> yeah, and, and practice, it's practice is wow. a test of theory. So I know a lot of people, you know, wonderful plan, you know, but uh, what are they doing? So now, I also want to end being in Britain today. I don't know if you'll agree with me on this, but I definitely am encouraged by the thought of Jimmy Corbyn, um, Ken Livingston, Diana Abbott, you know, people, not because I've been losing about the Labour Party, because I always thought it was a capitalist, imperialist, racist, nationalist party. But when you got these people in leadership, I think that there, there would be a change. I mean, would you agree with me on yes, that? I, I, yes, yeah. I would be with um, Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah, yeah you see, that's good. And, and, and the lie they told you. He's not perfect, thing. but I think he's a, he's, a, he's not perfect. No, no, no one no. is, but I yeah, think he'd be yeah, yeah. a welcome I mean, I change know, from what we have at the moment. But you see, uh, often I, I think think of him and uh, the one thing he will not do, I think, is condone a war of aggression. Exactly. This is very clear. We saw this in the case of Syria yeah. and, of course, in uh, Venezuela, you know, I mean, and uh, you see that the, the, uh, no extradition for Assange, which they've said publicly. I don't think he can say much more if he wants to be elected, but it, 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 this doesn't mean that he doesn't believe what it would be hard for him to say uh, to, to right. get elected because I say if people are being fooled by the media yeah. they're not likely to support him if he says everything he believes about uh, socialism or he mentioned that so. but, you know but I want to say about uh, take one example why is it that we have trial by media but we don't have a trial because Ken Livingston's statement Hitler and the Zionists wanted the same. Well, it's misleading, and again, it's not the whole truth. They wanted the whole, the whole thing, uh, the same thing, in one bite. respect and one only. Yep. Hitler wanted the um, Jews out of Germany, yep. or I'll kill them. Yep. And uh, the Jewish leaders wanted them out to, so they wouldn't be killed. So far, so good. Where it went wrong was because Hitler's his final solution was kill all the Jews. But then the Zionist leaders said, go to Israel, go to Palestine, and you, that land could be your land, the Balfour Agreement. Supposedly, the, uh, nothing would be done to harm the uh, uh, civil and religious rights. This is in the Balfour Declaration, right. you know, Not of the existing non-Jewish non uh, population. Yeah. Which, well, it wouldn't be acceptable because something was bound to be done. I mean, you know, if you, you know, in the United States, people went fleeing persecution in Britain, we're told, but then they killed the Native Americans, the Indians. You see, same thing in Australia, as the sound will tell you about Tasmania. So you see, if they could have existed, but the white the Jews should have gone to all countries because they're a religious group. You're a Jewish German, or a Jewish Chinese, or a Jewish Italian. You go there, and this is what was happening. And of course, the countries, it's true. I understand the Zionist argument to some extent because they weren't really welcome. They were treated as second class citizens. But then black people in the United States are second class citizens, you see. But they still stayed. I mean, Garvey said, go to Africa. Some of them did. But a lot of them stayed and fought for equality. And quite a lot has been achieved, you know. It's, it's their country too, you know. So, as I say, you know, we can go on all day talking, but there's so many truths that haven't been told, you see, the whole truth. I appreciate you But, telling, but thanks so much for the opportunity. Thank you. It's uh, not because of me, I'm, I'm not important. I, I did say this because I would endorse this about Pablo Neruda's poem, uh, Let the Rail Spur Awake, it's called, to uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln, you know. And uh, perhaps to mention also Ireland, right next door to Britain, yep. Ireland is denied again the chance to unite. There's one Ireland, not two Irelands, you know. And after all, they call it Northern Ireland. They don't call it Western Britain. But there should be one country. And again, 
mentioning right now, mentioning Lincoln himself. A house divided itself cannot stand, a nation cannot exist, long, long endure, half slave and half free. This is one island, 26 counties, the so-called, well, yes, republic, too. At least you shouldn't be part of a, a, a kingdom. Will agree with but you then the north, also, they should unite, and then you have a 32 county. But you have six counties that are under John Bullard's tyranny, as the song goes, you know. Yes. And uh, in case you, you think that history. one should be afraid, one should not be afraid to speak, the words of Patriot Game. It's not being sung here, it's by Brendan Behan, who is the brother of Dominic, no, Dominic Behan, bro brother of Brendan Behan, where he says in, in the, the, the opening words, uh, Come all young rebels, and uh, List by list while I sing. So, uh, love of one's country is a terrible, terrible thing. thing. It banishes yeah, fear with the, the speed of a speed flame. It makes us all part of the, the patriot, patriot game. game. Yeah. And it's so yeah, important to understand this because yeah. people ask me, were you scared in uh, Iraq because I was phoning a friend? I said, I'm too angry to be scared. And that's all the truth of this because I'm no braver than anybody else. But you know, you couldn't just be angrier. afraid then because you, you knew that you're doing the right thing, you know. And also, we also we had the idea that you want to kill, well, we didn't want to kill a blue-eyed blonde person from Europe and as much as possible. The Americans chased us up because they could justify killing black people because they're racist, but they couldn't justify killing people from their own country, especially white people. So I think it's for this reason they didn't like us there as human seals, but they chased us out rather than kill us. But then they made it very difficult for a number of us who were black. Not for myself personally, because they didn't know about me. I know a woman who went back to the United States and George Bush's brother was governor of Florida. And they, well, they wouldn't accept the mortgage payments. So they took a house away. So, you know, no way to put it pressure on people, you know. Anyway, okay. say, <laughs> we can thank talk. you no, so thanks much. So much. And Very part the people. Human okay. shield. Yeah, yeah. Yes, That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I gang, I saw a lot of chat going by, and I, I didn't comment. I was just laughing. I was listening to the old man, uh, Levy, uh, Eric. Uh, that was awesome. That was awesome. And again, Lassange, Lincoln Connection, and whatnot. And I didn't agree, like I've said before, I, don't, I didn't agree with everything uh, Eric had to say, 100%. Right? But, man, 92 years old. And the guys, he was killing it. He was killing it. Right? He was killing it. Amazing. Amazing. Who... who <laughs> <laughs> the hell the God pointed. He has balls. Who's got balls like this? Seriously. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Huge respect. Huge respect. Huge respect.